Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is talking about hair. I have made no secret of the fact that I just don't have good hair. It is thin. It is very, very fine. Um, it is it is not curly, but it's not straight. It's in between. It gets real, real flat on the top. It just, I mean, just clings to my scalp. And then it, the ends are, you know, fuzzy and frizzy and stick out. So I just think it might be the hardest hair to work with. So I'm always looking for new tricks to, I experiment a lot on my hair with trying alternative things and thinking outside the box a little bit. So I've come up with a couple of things and I'm still experimenting and I will talk about them as I experiment. Um, but today I'm talking about how to use a little less heat. And for years, I wore my hair like this short, just so short, but I got tired of it and I let it grow back out again and I wanna keep it long for a while. And I, kind of, I believe if we work with our hair, we can sort of wear our hair the way we want to wear it. You know, we don't have to wear it really, really short if we don't want to. I just really got, I mean, it was convenient and everything. I got sick of it year after year wearing it that way. I got so tired of it. So, uh, you know, I do want to work with my hair and try to make it look presentable. It doesn't have to look glamorous or be extraordinary or anything, but just presentable. So that's kind of thing I'm striving for right now. Right now, I'm, uh, this video is about trying to use a little less heat so I shampoo my hair twice a week, on Monday morning and on Friday morning. Uh, and I blow dry thin, and that is heat. But what I do is, and I'm gonna you know, show it off. Hey, I had to stop, I always get interrupted. I think I, I was talking about what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show myself blow drying my hair. I'm using high power, you know, a lot of um, wind, you know, a lot of air on it but the but low heat so the heat is very you know pleasant it's just it's warm but it isn't burning hot you know i can put my fingers over it and everything and it doesn't burn so that is a little less heat on my hair and i use my curling iron twice a week my big you know two inch curling iron but i've turned it down a little lower than i usually do and tried to hold it a little less time and then put my rollers in and the rollers that i've been using on the first day are these great great big ones. I think this is four, three, four, five inches. I'm not sure. I got them in the UK, so I don't have a link. Now, what I did was I saw some bigger ones that look bigger on a website, and I have ordered them, and if they seem to work out pretty well, I'll, I'll talk to you all about them, but I don't want to talk about them yet until I see if they're good or not. Um, but I put on these great big uh, after I used the curling iron on the first day. On the first day, I used the heat. And then on the subsequent days, I don't use heat. And I will uh, demonstrate that. But on the first day, I use these great big rollers and it gets it smooth and gets it up off my scalp and gives it a little bit of body and makes me able to give it a little definition to my hair. And turning down the heat a little bit, even though I'm using a curling iron, it, that is a little bit of a positive step. I got interrupted again. I cannot do a video without everybody calling. I just can't. I mean, over and over again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I use these great big ones on the first day and I use the curling iron, but I make it a positive step because I use a little bit lower heat. Then on the second day, I roll my hair on smaller rollers because I'm not gonna be adding heat, but I do get in the shower and I talked about it in my last video. So there's the shower like right here. So I stand like this, you know, and let the shower get from here down. I don't like to put my, I've never liked to put my face in the shower. I just don't like that shower water splashing kind of hard on my face. So I do like that. And then a lot of times, you know, I'll get the, I'll turn around at the back of my neck. But uh, a lot of times I will wait to get out of the shower and wash my face in the in front of my neck. In, um, you know, in the sink, in the bathroom, uh, looking in front of the mirror. So I just am real careful. And that steam from the shower just really, really sets it. But on the second day or third day hair or what, what, whenever, 
I will just kind of on the top spray the roots a little bit and tease the roots a little bit put, put them in, in the smaller rollers they're about this big you'll see them in the video about that big and uh, they get in the shower so the fact that you're not using the curling iron you do have to use smaller rollers on subsequent days I was trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about. I've also got to go get my granddaughter from school. So it's, it's you know, it's life, isn't it? I'm also experimenting with some hot rollers on how to do beachy waves. Not, if that works out, I'll show that. Not use, I've got some new uh, hot rollers, but not using a curling wand. You know, a curling iron is going to be harder on your hair than hot rollers. So I, I think, I feel like it is. It just doesn't seem as it's, if, as it's, it doesn't seem as hot as a curling iron. So um, I'm experimenting with that, but I'm doing some other experiments. And so anyway, so I'll go ahead and show this. The first part is me derma rolling my hair and I learned how to derma roll. I'm following in the example of Mary Ellen after 60 and Ellis for living. And of course I will link their derma rolling videos down below, but um, definitely copying them. This is how I learned to do it watching them and uh, they are the masters so i uh, give them all the credit for teaching me how to do it i'm just following along behind them so anyway i hope you enjoy this okay i am doing it up close and personal uh, that's for sure I, I zoomed in so you could really see and you can see where i still have gaps in my hair but golly you have no idea how much better it is I was bald as an eagle on each side of my head. So I am actually pretty tickled with the way my hairline looks because it was so much worse. You know, when you've got feathers for hair, you hold on to as much of it as you can. But yeah, I take little short, little, I go in one direction. And I learned that from, you know, Mary Ellen and uh, Ellis for Living. That way it doesn't get tangled. I go back and then I lift up, go back lift up, you know, over and over again, all around my hairline where I need it. Then I do it on the top of my head. I don't know if I'm thinning back there, but I figure I am. So I go ahead and do that. And I go away from the crown all around in a circle up there. And it just don't ever get caught, but you have to hold the hair tight and make sure that you don't, you know, go back and forth, back and forth, or like a saw because it's going to get tangled then. I go in one direction. Then I put on my nioxin. I love that stuff. Now, it just, I'm real tickled with it. I go all around my hairline with that. Y'all have seen me do it before. Kind of ruffle my feathers. That's what I call my hair. They are like feathers, like a down pillowcase or something like that. It's awful. Now, I do the crown. My hair had gotten a little dry because I had to take care of some things. We had workers in that were just doing, you know, all kinds of work. And then the being Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine, that cream that just kind of calms down the frizzies on the ends a little bit. Can't use too much, but I do like it and it doesn't make my, it doesn't make my ends stringy. That's what I like about it the most. It calms it down without making it stringy because my hair gets so stringy. My feathers do. So I'm just going to kind of work it in on both sides. Then I'm blow drying it and you see what I mean? The, you can tell that I've got the power higher, but it's very low heat. I can, you know, it's just not unpleasant to on my hair, hand at all doing it. Then I'm brushing it out. Just to gently try to get the tangles out. Now, I'm going to start my rolling rolling and y'all seen me do this before so it'll be quick I think I may even fast forward I spray it and I tease the root a little bit and then add my and it's down pretty low lower than it was before the temperature and then I hold it I try to hold it for about eight seconds which isn't too terribly long and I'm gonna use one of the big rollers I think that's probably like I said about a four inch then I immediately put the roller in and it's a great big roller but I do that to get it nice and straight and a lot of height and I hated using those bobby pins. I really like the duck bill clips better. 
they're so much better. Okay, then I do the one in front of it, tease the root a little bit. See, what you can see it doesn't hold, those bobby pins don't hold as well as the clips do. Then I do my next one, and I should be skipping around. I didn't want to show you all the whole thing. And roll it up on that, and that curling iron is a two inch. And a lot of times I'll put two inch Velcro rollers in, but I wanted some great big straightness, but body. Uh, or left on the roots. Well, body too. And then another bobby pin. I did it the day or another day after I filmed this and I didn't use the bobby pins. I used the clips and I did better. Okay, there's the sides. And I think these are a little bit smaller. This is probably like a three inch is what I'm guessing. I don't know. I can't judge sizes too well. So I've got, you know, several of them in now. I'm going to work on the back. And then, you know, the back and the sides, I don't usually tease and I don't usually put the, the hairspray in. The set, the, the, it's the Fashion Works 12. Then I take it out, put the roller in. Those are big rollers, so make sure you get your outfit on first. Because you you'll you won't be able to get your outfit on and off until you get, you know, to take those rollers out. And then I just kind of roll everything away from my face. That's what I tend to do. I don't hold it a real long time. Don't do a real high heat. You can tell it's not real high heat. It just gives it a little bend, actually. And I put the big roller in it. Bobby pin. Then I spray it with that Red Confession Works again. Just kind of all over a little bit. Then I put on my makeup. Of course, I have on my makeup already and do other things. Then I took it down. I didn't want to show that. That was boring. But that's what it looks like when I took it down. I'm trying to put my earrings in. I had a little trouble with the earrings them in. But that's what it looks like with the great, great big roller. Smooth, but kind of puffy. Some body to it. And then here's the next day, second day hair. I got up, came in here and took a picture. I took a screen grab of a little bit of a video. And that's what I look like. I look rough. My hair looks rough second day. So I didn't show it. I rolled it on those smaller ones exactly the same, but I did not use a curling iron. That's what it looks like all around, all just away from my face. And then I go get in the shower. I spray it with the Fashion Works and go get in the shower. And then stand all around like I just did and let the shower water hit the rest of my body. The steam will make it set. And then, I, of course, I change clothes and everything. Put on my makeup. And... I'm taking it down. I did want to show me again, put it up. I put it up exactly the same way, just different size rollers. But now that is without heat. I think that's pretty darn good. Now, I, I really do. For the way it looked before, I, I don't think that's bad at all. So that's what it looks like after on second day hair. No heat, just the steam from the shower. That's the before and that's the after. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry that the introduction and in this is so rushed and so haphazard with everybody calling. Uh, take care. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week. Talk to y'all in a couple of days and try to stay cool and stay safe. Love you all. Bye-bye.